Well, we got the update from the National Hurricane Center on Hurricane Adalia. Uh, Liz, it was indicated as a Category 2 hurricane, wind sustained right now at 100 miles an hour. And you can see from the high-resolution visible satellite, very pronounced spin to this tropical cyclone as it makes its way up the west coast of Florida. Now, we've already gotten notification that not only is it going to be making landfall by Wednesday morning as, a, as probably a major hurricane, but it's going to make its way towards South Carolina and will be impacting our weather starting sometime tomorrow morning. And even with the projection that it's going to be somewhere in the low country by Thursday morning, we're still going to be feeling impacts at least through the afternoon and evening. That's why we still have tropical storm watches in effect for pretty much Orangeburg, Calhoun, Clarendon, and Sumter counties. This will go until Friday afternoon, just after 5 o'clock. Now, what we're expecting of the winds, now keep in mind that not so much the strength, but the timing of when these are, are going to shift. But nevertheless, Wednesday morning, we're going to get up. It's going to be a little bit windy, and the wind gusts will start picking up, especially in the southern and southwestern portions of the Midlands by midday and into the afternoon. And those winds will be picking up by Wednesday before sunrise. Most of our Midland communities south of 378-76 are going to be experiencing very windy conditions, wind gusts in excess of 40 miles an hour, sustained of over 45 as we get into Wednesday night, as Adalia at this point is the tropical storm continues to make its way through. Even once Adalia is well away from South Carolina, we're still going to be dealing with the windy conditions, wind gusts over 35 miles an hour going into Thursday morning. In addition to that, we're looking at the possibility of strong to severe storms south of I-20, but closer to I-95. And this is going to be in the early portions of Wednesday morning, which we could see severe storms, possibly 60 mile an hour wind gusts, but not so much quarter size hail, but maybe the possibility of tornado warnings, not necessarily a tornado. But as you see outside right now, there's a lot of sunshine, a little bit of clouds, and a little bit of rain over Aiken. Well, we've had some showers that's cooled them off to 74, but look at these temperatures where it hasn't rained yet. We're in the mid to upper 80s. Heat index right now of 100 at the airport, 98 in Camden, and 96 in Orangeburg and in Bishopville. Well, we've had the showers and thunderstorms. Now we have more storms that are crossing out of northern Aiken County, heading towards Saluda, Lexington, and far western Orangeburg County. So this activity is going to continue as we go throughout the night. It's not going to last all night, and it's not going to be for everyone. By the time we get to early morning, that'll be done. Maybe some storms later on in the morning, but... As we get into mid to late morning, here comes the showers and storms associated with Adalia. That'll be a tropical storm. And this is going to continue, folks, Wednesday morning into Wednesday midday. And then everyone's going to be, unfortunately, dealing with this as we go throughout the night and going into late Thursday, late uh, Wednesday night. And finally, tapering off by the time we get to Thursday morning. So here's our forecast. We're going to be expecting the flips. I got the wrong one. 73 in the morning with a high of 78. Then Thursday, the sky starts to clear by the afternoon, reach a high of 76. Get a load of this, folks. 59 degrees Friday morning with a high of 82. And that sunshine Friday will continue Saturday and Sunday as we warm up the highs to the mid to upper 80s. That may be nice, but again, the big thing, Corey, we're talking about is the flood watch for the Midlands that's in effect already. Efren, it looks like the biggest impact for the Midlands is going to be the potential of flash flooding as we go into this upcoming uh, situation here. You can see Idalia off the coast of Florida out there. Wind and surge is the biggest concern, but we're going to see a weaker system over South Carolina bringing plenty of moisture. This is what we call precipitable water, so the amount of moisture in the atmosphere. This dark green right here indicates extreme levels of moisture, even for uh, the tropics, and you can see being pulled along with Idalia as it moves across South Carolina. That's going to set the stage for already some pretty heavy rainfall rates, but we're also looking at the setup. What's going on? We have a front in the area that's going to stall across South Carolina as you go into tomorrow, and this acts as a barrier for this storm, essentially keeping the moisture on the right hand side of the storm for the most part, but also curving it back out to sea. And you're going to see as you go towards midday Wednesday and into the evening, this is when we see enhanced rainfall across the area due to this frontal 
little feature. And that's going to really provide the chance for enough rain that we could see some issues here across the Midlands. So let's take a look at one of the forecast models for tomorrow. You can see as you get towards 11 o'clock in the morning, some spotty showers and storms possible, but then the core of the system starts to move in. We're seeing a couple inches of rain by 5 p.m. By 9 p.m. We're starting to see those totals start to rise quite quickly here. And by early Thursday morning, we're starting to see some really, I would say, concerning trends here with our rainfall, something we'll have to keep an eye on. Now, don't pay attention too closely to these numbers. Right now, we are thinking generally around five to seven inches of rain wherever this axis forms, but this could be further north, it could be further south. And we're going to really get into more of that detail when we get closer to the system actually moving through South Carolina. But the one thing we know for sure right now is that there is the potential for some big time rain. So let's talk about the counties right now that seem to be impacted the most. That's going to be Calhoun, Clarendon, Lexington, Orangeburg, and Richland, where five to seven inches of rain are possible, potentially more. Then we're going to see potentially some pretty heavy rain in portions of Kershaw, Lee, and Sumter County, where five to seven inches of rain are forecast right now. As you get further inland, two to four inches in places like Fairfield, Newberry, and Saluda County. So we'll give you guys more updates though as you get a little bit closer to this event. Stay tuned, we got more News 19 coming up.